So today I'm doing a little bit of an adventure. There's a spot out by a lake that has a really cool road leading up to it. The mountains in the background, it's really beautiful. And so I'm heading there to get a photo with my car on that road. I think it'll look really cool. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with that. But also, more importantly, I'm gonna talk about some stuff, like some hidden controls that you can do with the Tesla that you may not know that you could do. And they're like a quality of life thing. I'll explain them as I go, but let's get going. Autopilot, great feature in these cars. It works really good being adaptive and matching speeds of the cars in front of you, really cool. But did you know there's a couple little hidden controls you may not know existed? So turning the autopilot on, we all know that. You click down the stock, it engages at your current speed that you're going. But then you wanna set the speed limit. There's a few ways you can do it. The easiest way obviously is just scrolling up and down with the right wheel on your steering wheel and that'll adjust it in increments of one kilometer or mile per hour. But then you can also rapidly turning it. I'm sure most people know that already and it goes up in increments of five. But did you know that you can also just set your speed to the current speed limit of the road by clicking down on the right stock and holding it and it'll automatically just adjust it to the current speed. Another little thing that you can do too that most people may not know about is with the right wheel, clicking left and right will actually adjust your following distance between increments of two car lengths up to seven car lengths. That one's really cool. I personally like to keep it back a bit because I don't like being too close to the car in front of me, just in case someone's doing like a panic stop. Future Jake here. For this next little bit, I needed to have a different weather. As you can kind of see here, it's a bit rainy. But that brings me into the next point. Did you know that you can completely manually control your windshield wipers without touching the screen? Yes, that's right. As we all know, the auto feature for the Tesla's windshield wipers is not really the greatest, especially when it's like dark out, when you have nighttime, it's, it's not very good. So there is a way of using it manually without touching the screen. And so how you do that is with a press of the windshield wiper controls, it brings up a display on the bottom of the screen that you can see there, right? And that's how you can change it with the screen, which while you're driving, it's a little cumbersome. You probably don't really buy be focusing on that screen while you're trying to drive. But did you know you can manually control that without touching the screen by using the left scroll wheel on your steering wheel to cycle between them, hitting left and right. This is a little trick I kind of figured out by accident and I gotta say, it's the one I use the most. I literally use that all the time, being able to change it, because like I said, the auto feature for the windshield wipers is not that good, especially at night. Anyways, let's get back to past Jake and continue this adventure. So did you know that when you're using your indicator to change lane, that there's more than one way of using it? Seems kind of weird, I know, but most people will probably click it all the way down and that will put it on fully, and then when you change lanes, you can tap it and you turn it off. Or you can just tap it once, it'll blink three or four times, and then you can change lanes. But you can also click it half press and hold it, change your lane, and then once you release, it'll turn off the blinker right then and there. That's the way I like to do it because then I don't think about it and I know it turns off. This wouldn't be much of an adventure if I didn't get slightly lost along the way, but I gotta figure it out where I'm going. I kind of know, like, I, I know the area roughly, I've just never been to uh, this area I'm trying to go to. And, uh, and it is a Sunday, so hopefully it's not too busy because, you know, people want to go check it out. With This is the first, like, decent weather we've had in ooh, over a month now. Anyways, let's continue. It's really foggy out right now, but this is it's starting to burn off because it is quite sunny today. And I can kind of, like, like I said, I've never been out this way but I can kind of see the mountains and this road just keeps going straight until I find the stretch of road that I want for uh, the photo I want to get today. But yeah, it's, it's really foggy right now. So hopefully this does burn off. I'm pretty sure it will though. This is this is more or less the spot. You can kind of see the way mountains in the back there. So it's pretty quiet right now, but I see a car coming, so I'm gonna wait till after this car goes by both directions. 
So I'm just gonna get set up first and then I'll uh, get the shot. So, so, did you know that you can, while driving, turn your car into Santa's sleigh? I'm sure most of us know this one already, that in the toy box there's an option to turn the car image on the screen into Santa's sleigh. But did you know that you can do that without having to use the screen at all? Ho, ho, ho. Hey. It will turn the car into Santa's sleigh on the fly and play a jingle and it's hilarious. And like when you use your blinkers, it'll uh, it'll do jingle bell blinkers. It's, it's, it's super funny, go try it out, trust me. If you, if you haven't tried it, go try it out, it's a fun one. But the main thing is the fact that yes, you can do it with voice commands, so you don't have to go through the menus and try to find it. That means if you feel like changing it to show off or have a little fun with your passenger, you can do that while you're driving and it's really funny. Yeah, that one's a good one. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A little, little bit of an adventure. Got a cool photo, a cool photo spot that I think I'm gonna revisit in the future and give you guys some tips that uh, you may or may not have known already about your Tesla. If you didn't, let me know in the comments if you think they're useful. And if you did know them already or know some other ones that I may have missed, let me know. Yeah, cool. Thanks for watching. This was fun. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.